Hi guys, so long time no see, I know. It's been a really long time since I filmed my last video, but today since I have a day off from school because it's a public holiday, or yeah, it's a school holiday, so I don't have to go to school, so I have an extra day in my calendar so I can film for you guys. I've been super busy since I last saw you guys because I had an internship for two whole months and I just really didn't have time to film anything and honestly I feel like I kind of fell out with YouTube for a bit like not that I stopped watching videos but I continued watching other people's videos but I just kind of stopped filming them myself because I just felt like I couldn't create content that people really enjoyed watching or you know I just felt like I wanted to change things up a little, maybe take a break. So now that I'm back, I hopefully will film more for you guys in the future. But today, since I haven't seen you guys or talked to you guys in so long, I thought I'd talk about a few of my makeup favorites. I've basically changed up my entire makeup routine since I last saw you guys. So I just, first of all, want to mention one brand because this has been a standout brand for me this whole summer. I discovered them this summer. I've heard about them for a long time now, but I've only just started using their products like um, a few months ago, and I honestly cannot stop using it. I use them every single day, and that is nude sticks. So I'm not sure if you guys have heard of them before. Um, they sell them in Sephora in the US, in Hong Kong, so I know people in Hong Kong can get this too. This is just a really great brand. So the packaging all looks basically the same. They also have lip products, cheek products, you know, eye products, eyebrows. They have basically anything that you will need. I am totally open to trying out more products from them because I just love the way that these products go on. I think that they're just amazing. And yeah, I think I'll start off with the face products. So I have two highlighters here. The first highlighter is the one that I'm actually wearing today. I literally use this five days out of the week. So it's, yeah, it's just an actual like well-loved favorite. So there's actually one shade that I use way more than the other. The one that I like the most is called Hey Honey. And it's because it's more of like a golden highlight. So it looks more golden and more bronzy on my face. Uh, and the other one is called Illuminati. And that one is more of like a icy pink. So I feel like this will be better when I, when I look a little paler. Like, you know, when my tan fades and everything from the summer. So this is definitely one that I will use more in the cooler months and this is definitely what I would gravitate to if I lived in like a more warm climate and I'm always tan or something. So yeah, I love these two products. They actually stay very glossy and dewy on the cheeks, but they aren't like sticky or anything, which I like. Like your hair won't get stuck in it. Um, yeah, so I just really like these two products. They also have a bronzer stick and a blush. They have different shades for these. I just have Bondi Bay in the bronzer and in the nude, which is the blush. And I just love the blush. The blush literally looks like my skin when it's sunburnt, like that kind of pinky but bronzy color. It just looks so good, especially in the summer. So I've been using that a lot. I've also been using Bondi Bay as my bronzer. It's an amazing product. I absolutely love it. It's just the perfect bronzer shade for me. It blends out so seamlessly. All these products kind of end up looking matte on the skin, so they won't be too dewy, except for the glow sticks, which actually dry dewy and like glowy looking on the skin. I also have two other products here from them. The first one is this tinted blur stick. I like using this when I feel like my skin's looking a little uneven. You guys know that I don't wear foundation on a daily basis, basically ever. There's maybe like five days in a whole year that I will wear foundation. I like tinted moisturizers and I like things that are just very low coverage. This is one of those things that I just love because it's in a stick form and you just kind of twist it up, you kind of roll it over your face and you blend it in with your fingers. Um, yeah, this just adds a little bit of coverage, evens out your skin tone. It won't necessarily like give you lots of coverage if you're breaking out or something. So this isn't something that I would, you know, recommend for people who need lots who needs lots of cover coverage. I think this is perfect for me because I 
don't feel like I need that much coverage and I don't like looking cakey or anything this just gives you like a tiny little like blurred filter to your skin and I just love it I have the shade light 3 and then last but not least I've been loving their eye color sticks so these are the magnetic luminous eye colors I have three of these and I think I have one of the matte ones they actually stay on your eyelids so well and they remind me a little bit of like a stick form of my favorite MAC paint pot because the MAC paint pots they go on super creamy you can blend it out you have a bit of time to blend it out and stuff but once it sets it'll set until you want to take it off so it literally will not crease it will not fade on you and these do the same so I just love them so much and I've been loving these cream products because I just find them so easy to put on. They're so smudgy looking. I kind of like the whole like smudgy lived in kind of look, especially with my eyes nowadays. You can probably tell that I put a little bit more on my eyes now and not just mascara because I, I don't know, for my everyday look, I've been kind of playing around with more bronzy colors. So speaking of bronzy colors um, for my eyes, I never thought I'd be that one person who would put eyeshadow on um, not on a daily basis but when I have maybe like an extra five minutes to do my makeup then I will put a little bit of eyeshadow on so I've been loving bronzy shades uh, the first thing I want to talk about is this glossy lid tint from Jillian Dempsey I love these lid tints so much they add like a really pretty gloss over your eyes and it's not too glossy it's more of like a satiny finish so it doesn't look wet on your eyelids which some people might like but it's not for me because it'll just make my mascara run but this just adds more of like a smudgy and soft look to your eyes and it doesn't dry matte which I like as well so this is a really great everyday eyeshadow that I like smudging on when I have a bit of time I also like using this Tom Ford cream and powder eye color in the shade naked bronze so it basically has a cream eyeshadow at the bottom and a super glittery eyeshadow top coat on the top and it looks really pretty on its own or you know layered on top of the cream or on top of other cream eyeshadows that you have or other powder eyeshadows I just love the versatility of this product and yeah I just love the shade so much it's definitely a shade that I could wear every day it's just a beautiful bronzy brown color and the formula is great although it is very expensive. Okay, so now onto eyeliners. I've been lining my eyes, not every day, but most days when I do my makeup, and I haven't been using my liquid eyeliner, surprisingly, because I've been wanting a softer look, but something that will still define my eyes. So I kind of chose bronzy eyeliners. And I know it's kind of crazy. It's like, why do I need so much bronzy stuff on my eyes? I honestly don't know, but I just love the way that it looks. So this is the Hourglass 1.5 millimeter mechanical gel liner in the shade Bronze. This is beautiful. It has a very like subtle shimmer to it. And sorry if you can hear sirens and everything outside. It's just, I'm in New York. And so this is the stuff that you're gonna get from me if I'm filming in New York. So yeah, the other one that I like is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Roach. These are quite similar, but I would say that the Urban Decay Roach is a bit lighter and it mo has more of like a copper shimmer to it. So it's a little bit more of like a red toned brown, while bronze, this one is definitely more of like a cool bronze. So yeah, they both don't smudge on me at all today. I think I have the Urban Decay one on my eyes. I kind of wing it out just slightly and then I smudge it on my lower lash line just a little bit on the outer bit. I will do an everyday makeup routine video soon so you guys can see how I use all these products that I've been, you know, talking about so much. And in terms of mascara, I think you guys have seen this in my last video, I think. Because I have been using this for a long time, like, well, not this exact tube, but this kind of mascara. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Zero Smudge Lengthening Mascara. It's my favorite no smudge mascara. It doesn't say that it's waterproof, it just says zero smudge, but I can tell you that it is a tubing mascara that will come off in the water, but it doesn't react to any of the oils around my eyes. Basically, I smudge with every mascara that I use, even if it's waterproof 
but this honestly just doesn't smudge at all. And it's what I'm wearing today. It's actually my favorite mascara ever because it just makes my lashes look so good, so full and so thick and just like super long too. So it's just like a wonder mascara for me. Okay, the last thing that I'll talk about in terms of eyes is this palette. And I think that this is a palette that I can honestly see every girl having because it's a palette that has every single color that you will ever need for eyeshadow. It has your neutral like brown kind of shades and they have some like great crease colors. Um, there's also some really warm colors for those of you who like a very like warm fall um, inspired I don't know eye color <laughs> eye look if you guys want like purples and oranges they have them they have, there's like a peach here that's really pretty as well there's even these beautiful like cool toned blues and greens and there's also a matte black like honestly it has everything that you will ever need and I've just been using this a lot like a lot more than I thought I would and I've even used this these two colors here on my eyes with a bit of brown on the in the crease and I absolutely loved the way it looked it just looked really cool and I had compliments on my eyeshadow that day which is something that I don't always get but this is definitely amazing and also the formula of these eyeshadows are just to die for now in terms of my face again I'll start off with some concealers I think you guys have seen me use this in my past videos as well these are just the Estee Lauder double wear stay in place flawless wear concealer I have the shade light warm and light medium warm so light medium warm is more of my summer shade although I do like to mix a bit of the lighter shade in because I'm just really high maintenance like that and I like having like the perfect under eye shade I just love the formula of these concealers because they won't smudge or not smudge they won't fade on me and the coverage is enough to really cover up my dark under eye circles but they're not too full coverage where it looks like I'm wearing lots of makeup and it looks cakey and I only use these on my eyes like under my eyes for blemishes and stuff I just use my trusty old um, makeup forever full cover concealer but this is my favorite under eye concealer ever okay in terms of other face products besides nude sticks which you guys know I already love. Um, the first one is this Hourglass Illume Sheer Trio. I've had this for a while now, and honestly, I just love all three shades. This is a product that I think I could see myself taking with me when I go on vacation because it has everything that I need. It has, you know, my bronzer, my blush, and my highlight. You can also use the bronzer and highlight on your eyes. You can even use the blush too if you want more of a peachy look. These colors are just spot on for me. Like the bronzer is quite deep looking on the skin, but once you blend it out, it becomes a very pretty like soft diffused wash of color. And this blush also reminds me of the Nude Sticks blush because it's more of like a suntan, like sunburn kind of peachy pink on your cheeks, which is definitely a look that I go for in the summer. Like looking sunburned is quite pretty, I think. Uh, obviously, if you're actually sunburnt, it's not good, but if you're getting it through makeup and everything, I think it's really pretty. Uh, this is also a really pretty champagne highlight. It's not as reflective and dewy looking on the skin as I would hope, but I still use it as sort of like a champagne topper to any of my highlights. So I just love this palette, and also it has a really big mirror. like. Okay, so I'm cutting in from the end of the video because I realized I forgot to talk about two things that I've been loving a lot and it was right in front of me, but I somehow skipped out on these two products. So the first thing I'll talk about is just this blush and this is the Becca Beach Tint. It's the water resistant color for cheeks and lips and it's in the shade Guava. So I heard about this from Jessica Clements. Clements? Um, yeah because she's been using this a lot in her videos and or at least she used to she used to use this a lot and she'd always recommend it and stuff so i ended up getting it i think during spring or something and i've been using it a lot this summer because this just gives the prettiest sort of watercolor looking sheer cheek which i really like so it's actually what i have on today in terms of blush i'm not sure if you can tell from this lighting maybe it's kind of washing me out a little but it just gives a very sheer kind of blushed look to your cheeks which I like and it just has a satiny semi matte finish it's not completely matte looking on the skin it actually leaves a slight glow which I also really like so yeah I've just been liking this a lot 
It's a very pretty like sheer cheek which if you have more pigmented skin, like if you have darker skin than me, there's maybe a few shades that you're probably limited to because I feel like some of the lighter shades would not really show up. This does say that it's also for your lips and everything, but it doesn't even show up on my lips. And my lips aren't even pigmented at all. So I don't know how pigmented these are if you have darker skin, but if you have lighter skin, then this is worth trying, I think, if you like a very sheer blush look. Okay, and then the last product that I kind of missed out on is this which is the rms beauty living luminizer this is just a beautiful cream highlight but this is more of like i wouldn't say it's transparent it's just definitely more of like a white looking highlight so i definitely wouldn't use this that much during the summer unless i'm going for a super no makeup makeup look like if i'm using bronzer i'll definitely gravitate more towards my nudies my nude sticks hey honey highlight or my hourglass little highlight here because it has more of like a golden tone to it but because it's more of like an icy white i would use this if i didn't have any base color underneath or if i'm just using this on my bare skin or i'm pretty sure like in the winter or something when i'm using way less bronzer then i would use this a lot more but i still love this so much i love putting it in my inner corners of the eyes on the brow bone sometimes on top of whatever highlight i'm wearing if i want a super intense like highlighted look but yeah i've just been loving this a lot so those are just the two products that i kind of missed on okay back to the video okay now to set my makeup i know i used to use the laura mercier translucent setting powder and i think i've used that for years but i switched over when i finished that powder and i honestly don't even know how i finished it that quickly but i somehow finished it and so i wanted to try this hourglass powder because i found that the laura mercier powder sometimes would look a little cakey on me if i wanted to use it to like um like set my face down my entire face it would kind of add a slight white cast maybe it's just because of the high amount of bronzer that i like to put on but sometimes it will leave a slight white cast on my face so i wanted to try new powder basically so i tried the hourglass veil translucent setting powder and i love it so much like okay this summer i think i've really embraced the whole like glowy looking skin not wanting everything to be so flawless and matte so i tried this powder and it honestly is the most like not powder like powder i've ever tried because it looks like skin it literally just looks like you added a filter over your skin like blurring things out making everything look super smooth and it also doesn't completely like mattify your face it also leaves a slight glow behind which is really crazy um and i just love the packaging of this powder it's so pretty and so i've been using this under my eyes to set my concealer it just kind of blurs the shine but doesn't make me matte so i just really like it it's sort of like a hydrating powder because i don't feel dry or kind of like crispy not crispy I don't know how to describe it when you're overly matte doesn't it feel like kind of heavy on your face this doesn't at all it just provides a very thin veil of powder okay so moving on to I guess let's do let's do lips first so for the lips I've been loving a very soft kind of like pinky rose buddy look to the lips uh, so I have three products here the one that I'm wearing today is the Il Maquillage super sheer lip color in the shade rave and i honestly just blot it on my lips and i just kind of like smudge it in with my lips like this and it just gives a really pretty like soft cool toned pink look to the lips and it kind of is so sheer and matte looking like when you blot it that it honestly just looks like it's my natural lip color but it's obviously not because my natural lip color isn't that pigmented which I don't like because it kind of makes me look dead sometimes if I don't have anything on my lips okay so yeah I just really like this product I think it just gives a really pretty to hear that siren <laughs> so yeah i just really like using this i think it just provides a really pretty like light pink to the lips 
and it's just I don't know it's so handy and it's like a big crayon looking thing so I like these things um, I've also been liking super glossy lips so I don't know if you can tell but this summer I totally transformed into a very like glow loving glossy lip person so I have two glosses here to show you guys the first one is this Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Ultra Cushion Lip Gloss in the shade Rapture and this is a very sheer pink mauve color let's see if it'll swatch well on my on my hand yeah you can see it as you can see it's basically the color that I have on my lips but it's just glossy and I don't know I really like it like if you just add one side of this um, little doe foot onto your lips just you know spread it out and everything it feels like a very moisturizing balm but if you were to use this side and then maybe use the other side of the doe foot on your top lips or whatever and then you know mush your lips together it will feel a lot more cushiony and thick on the lips but at the same time it's not like a very gloppy got gloppy gloss it's not like a very gloppy gloss it's just very thin looking and feeling and it just looks glossy so I just really like it it makes your lips look plumper and everything and it just has a slight minty sensation which I also really like because it kind of just makes my lips feel more plumped up and the other gloss that I really like is the Lancome L'Absolue Lacquer do you like my French? <laughs> L'Absolue Lacquer in 274 and this is what it looks like honestly this is just more of like a brownie version it's a little bit more brown and peach looking than this pink gloss but this also leaves behind a stain so after the gloss like the glossy part of the lip gloss kind of fades away there is a stain underneath to kind of like back it up and that's the one thing that I love about this gloss like if I know that I'm not going to be like you know reapplying during lunch or whatever this is just a great gloss to put on and literally just not care about for the rest of the day because I know that there will be a stain on my lips that makes it look like I still have something on even though I probably probably wore off like a long time ago already so this is great and it's not a very deep stain either it's basically just this color but maybe two shades lighter so that's why I really like it and the last thing that I want to talk about in terms of makeup is just a little setting spray this is the Caudalie Beauty Elixir and it says it's smoothing and it gives you a glowing complexion which I do think it does because it looks and smells amazing <laughs> so I'm just gonna spritz my face really quick and it just feels so nice in the summer because there's a bit of this cooling like menthol feeling thing so yeah this is an amazing facial spray because I find that it makes my skin look super smoothed out and blurred out and it also just adds a slight glow to the face so I don't know if you can tell but my face looks quite glowy and dewy today um, compared to maybe how it's looked in previous videos and it's all because of this spray and also because I've been using lots of cream products and cream highlighters that I have just been loving this glowy look to my skin so that is basically it in terms of my makeup favorites recently that I have not shared with you guys before so I do have a few more videos planned for the future and I hope you guys will stay tuned please subscribe if you haven't already and yeah I'll see you in my next video bye